screaming. I hear screaming. It stops when I close my mouth. My head is pounding like a jackhammer on pavement. Nausea. It gags me. I must hold my breath till it passes. It's gone. Cold sweat drips down my face, burning my eyes. Get hold of yourself, damn it! Think, look, observe. Calm down, slow the heart rate. Oh, great. The game didn't give me enough time to read all that. But hey, welcome to Let's Play Countdown by Access Software. Designed by some other guy and the guy who plays Tex Murphy. This game was suggested by Late Blight some time ago. And I figured I could do it now and also attach to it a shameless plug for hey, there's a Kickstarter project for a new Tex Murphy game. If you have no idea what that is, it's a series of adventure games featuring a. let me think. a post apocalyptic film noir detective. So, yeah. Good stuff, some of my favorite, but favorites I'll add a link. But in the meantime, let's get started with this game. <coughs> nah. <clears throat> um, well, as you can see at the top, there's the score and also there's a date and time, which features into the whole count countdown aspect of the title. Namely, there is a time limit. And the main character is locked up somewhere and he doesn't really remember who he is, so sounds <coughs> pretty normal. Hmm. Looks like there's nothing on the floor there, but how about this glint? So we are going to grab anything, everything that comes loose, naturally. Um, okay. The, the use option is only f well for using inventory items into stuff in the surrounding world. So uh, can I taste the water? Mm hmm. A bit annoyingly, you can't really tell what the hotspots are until you click on them. Let's take that in place in case we run into any vampires. Oh. Mm. oh, this could be helpful. Mason Powers. Now we have a name. <coughs> scheduled for surgery? Why? What's wrong with me? I feel pretty banged up, but how did it happen? Then an image in my mind's eye sends chills rippling through my body. Make sure he remembers nothing. Don't worry, I'll take care of him. I'm scheduled for surgery, alright? I'm scheduled for a trip to the meat locker. The man with the clipboard must have been Dr. Hashish. But who was the man behind him and why does he want me dead? Yeah, we will have scenes like that when Mr. Powers' memory returns bit by bit. Turkish. Well, props to you for recognizing Turkish, I guess. Um, ah, nothing there. Open the books. Okay, you can create Turkish, but you recognize it. That's interesting. Hmm. Then why is he here? Well, we've seen a, what I suspect to be an 
orderly pass by now and then. Oh, hello, Igor. Um, you're in a sanctuary, a hospital for patients with special needs. Dr. Farouk Hashish. Hmm. You're here because you were deemed a problem by your employers. So, what is this? A East European version of the village? Dr. Hashish has been watching your progress very carefully. He even brought in a specialist to check you out. He says that since you're recovering, he will perform the surgery on you in the morning. So, now we have a at least one time limit. Wait, but we also know, only know how long it's been. The game has been going on, not the actual time of the day. Uh -huh. The sanctuary is the final resting place for people who become a problem. Stay quiet and learn to accept your fate. Hmm. Ah, it has a... E, Freddy Krueger. Okay. Tomorrow afternoon your worries will be over. Hmm. <clears throat> well... I don't actually remember much of this game, but I do know at least the solution to the first problem. We trapped the bug in the cup and um uh, hmm. <coughs> then talk to the orderly. Come on, come back here. Him to back. I have been looking everywhere for a rhinoceros beetle. I'll have some food sent to you right away. Hmm. Don't remember if you'll eventually find out about this bug collecting hobby through talking, but well. Further on, we will have less. Well, I'll have less clear cut solutions to problems. Hmm. What about the window? Hmm. Okay, this. Hmm. Ah, let's see what we have here. Aha. Uh -huh. And also pressing F will bring up this. Let's see if the food is actually safe to eat. Hmm. Well, let's see if we can get out of here. No? Don't mind me, Mr. Orderly. Oh yeah, and the go to command will allow you to move between between screens. Yes, override it. 
Can I now? Ah, I have a piece of wire, and I have no idea what to do with it. Oh, jolly good. Nope. Ah. Now oh, let's take a look. Okay, that looks like another crucifix on the wall, but now. Uh, hmm. ah. Well, that's jolly pleasant. If you get seen by the orderly. Instant trip to lobotomy. Now, one of the things I enjoy about Access Software's adventure games is that they have rather, f rather uh, unique sense of humor, especially when it comes to the death death sequences. Hmm. Okay, move the box. Find nothing. Come on, there must be. Oh, what about these scissors? Right. Huh, oh, I didn't know they had something like that. Cups, supplies. Why are there cups here? Okay. Um, hi. Okay, maybe there's an intercom type thingy. Huh. Hi. Uh, tell me why you're here and maybe I'll tell you about myself. Okay. Wait, when did they claim you've killed someone? Wish you luck, I've been here for a year. Jack Quinn. Ah, oh, confused the last. I used to be the company section head in Algeria. Need to take. Hmm. Okay, who's Jack Quinn? Okay, he's called so we need a blanket. Leonard Spalding. Hmm. Nothing inside. Hmm. Right. Let's save again in... I mean... We do have a time limit until the orderly notices that Mr. Powers is gone. Hey, locked. We need to find something to fool him. Huh. You know, this actually reminds me of... Ending of Monkey, uh, Monkey Island 2. It's a realistic wall hanging which looks like. rather reminds me of a early 90s game cover art.
Mm, it doesn't look like there's anything here. My eye. Ah, I doubt there's anything useful there. Oh, crap. Oh. Okay, just made it. Oh, hello there. Ah. Yeah. You're an adventure game protagonist, Mr. Powers. Ah, oh, nothing there. Nothing in the drawer. But now we have a decoy. And what was that beep? And also going against the patrol routes is hazardous. As you just witnessed. <coughs> I guess that beep was one uh, random sound clip to be played. And what is... That door looks unusual. Yeah, going against the patrol rods is hazardous. As I recall, that's when I came, so... Would Nah. Let's go take care of this business first. Right now, Mr. Powers has. Hmm. Now Mr. Powers has bought himself a bit more time and well let's leave him standing precariously there on the ledge. This has been Crowley 9 with Countdown and go support the new game those Tex Murphy games those guys are planning to make.